Hello there everyone and welcome back to Old World Blues, the ADZ series which we're playing as the Montana chapter. Last time we took out the Enclave. That wasn't super easy, but I knew we could do it. We also got the Ruminators as a pup puppet. And now we're still at war with Middlemark, which is going alright. We lost about 1300. We killed off about 5400. Pretty good overall, I'd say. And Kanata has won in the north, and the Great Khans apparently want territory from us. Well, that's certainly not good for us. Um, and we'll wait for that one too. Diplomatic training, what else we got around here? Sure, pre-war housing doesn't matter to me. Putting them on moving belts, that would be great. Um, how about this one? Thrift, fully funded and beautifully living. Well, oh, would you look at that? We've got buggies ripping all over Montana now, with everything all together. We're going to be doing a hell of a lot of business, if you know what I mean. We might need to move a little faster here, especially if they want to come kill us. There we go. Cool. So, with a 20 stack of power armor, I'm not going to throw you down here. Because y'all are more spread out. Um, it's not ideal. Alright, what else we got? Monoplanes, more planes, 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 planes. And still, of course, we need more manpower, but what else is new, you know? Let's see, knowing the enemy. I know the big guns back home would have a piss on all things Raider, but they work They work for a reason. Montana's new, it's foreign, it can buy us when we least expect it. So why don't we use anything and all of everything at our disposal? Cleaning up old rifles, we found old cache of old war weaponry. Though ancient and far from our style, Thrust says he sees potential in augmenting the rifles to our standards. We can certainly provide him the means. Demolition acquisitions? I'm going to put it simply, we need boom, we need, we're running low on the things that make boom. Let's get more, please. Moving around is a funny thing, really. Both of us constant material requests, through them, we become more aware of in how inefficient our old transportation methods were. We'll need to look into tightening cargo security for future endeavors. <clears throat> sure, lost tails, yeah. Yeah, my mouse is not doing so well right now, oh boy. Boop, 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 boop. Just go ahead. Calgary. A little ahead of time, but not so much that I'm concerned about it. Welcome aboard. Gray stable as well, huh? Very cool. And we have a cup of coffee or two. Thank goodness, because I don't sleep at night. So that being said, hmm. Oh, this is all part of the second coalition. Well, we need to go to the war with the Church of the Silo, anyways. Ten days, holy cow, that's actually really good. Um, sure. Maybe a little more power armor? Probably not, but whatever. Let's let the power armor do it. Manpower is a premium, so we can wait. And uh, yeah, political power. <clears throat> Excuse me. Settle people down. We can wait for that one. And we can wait for this one, that one, this one. Don't think we're really going to accomplish that this campaign. That's okay. Knowing thy enemy. Good. Are we at war with someone else? Oh. Weird. Uh, Uroboros, I hope you die. Casper, cool. Six, sixty. Nice. Good stuff. Even though we never have enough money, but whatever. Alright. Hmm. Highland Watch, Lone Trees. 
Maybe Lone Trees? Fighting quite a few people already. Oh. here we did all the work so Really stupid. That makes no sense. Why would they get any of this stuff? But whatever. Okay, my God, just give it up. This, okay, we, we gotta kill laundry off too. That's so dumb. They. Whatever. Um. So if that's the case. They'll need you here. And we'll need you here. Energy just in case too. <laughs> so they stacked up a lot of guys here, right? That's the case. Let's throw on radar. Let's throw on a few planes. <clears throat> Cleaning up all the rifles is nice. Eighty-four versus six hundred, some. Not ideal, really. Can't imagine these guys would be too strong, though. Yeah, they're out of manpower already. Good. <coughs> um, you know what? We can go fast research speed for now. I would like to increase political power, but we don't have to. Expand army training. Eh, we'll get there eventually. Decimation, nice. Good. We can we go to war with next? Ah, oh, yes. Because then after them, probably not going to attack north. Uh, Realm of Diana? That would give us quite a bit more territory to administer and whatnot. Or Boros. They were being dumb earlier. Oh, they're actually allied with the Realm of Diana. Okay, I'll take one then. Jet engine's nice. It's a little ahead of, too ahead of time for me. Go over here. There you go. That's looking pretty good. Good. And crushed. Love it. Alright, so Lone Tree. Uh, we can do that one now since it's going to take forever for us to get doing all that stuff. So, moving around is a funny thing though. Boop. Boop. Now we're good. Basic Genoeta. Um, plane stuff. Robotics. Hmm. There. Recon snipers, I guess. I don't know. Nope. Go ahead, guys. Sure. Why not? Military signing bonuses, please? No. Oh, yes. Then, full seal, wholesale approval. Their successful endeavors have earned a more say on infrastructure, organization, and construction. Please approach us with more ideas to expand our resource horizons. Let's proceed. Yes, we shall. Resources should be no problem. Ever. Look at all the territory we're going to have. I have to decrease the time with them, too. I forgot about that as well. All this territory as well. Whee! There you go. Very nice. Rock Springs, good. New factories, work on corn costs. <coughs> very nice. Very, very nice. He yeah, isn't going to. Or, I forgot to give you orders, god dang it. There you go. 
Good. Scrap tracks. Very nice. We can't do this. We've not researched salvage for motorcycles, not yet. Old schematic say that? I read this earlier, so if you want to do this one, please go right ahead. Beep. And we gotta go keep going down south. I'm not sure why I keep avoiding all these. Very nice. Ah, love coffee, love caffeine. Courses through my veins. Burros. Very nice. Oh, they had a few ships too. Good. Central Colorado. Uh-huh. Some proper charged ammo. Oh, I guess technically this is gonna be one gigantic front line. They probably pelt us pretty hard early on. You guys can uh no border with them. Glow's Kratos done exceptionally well. That's probably the first time I've ever seen Glow's Kratos do and become that huge. Holy cow. Kind of impressive. Good job. Oh, is this all cores? Oh man. Oh, is this all cores for them too? Oh wow. I don't know if they could actually take them all over and be okay. Do we also go to war with them? No, yes, no. Well, let's see what happens. Too hard and fast we can push in. Oh, yeah. It's fine. Good. All schematics. And we're going to come down here finally. Busted Enclave machinery. Unlike the ones we find in a typical wasteland compound or romp around, the machines in the employ of the Enclave are fairly well kept. With a simple repaint job and scribe or two to reprogram them, we can recommission them as official brother auxiliaries. Are they finally at war with us too now? Ah, finally. Are they war with us or not? They're not. Still. Can I for stop forgetting to give you orders? Give me a day or two for more planning. Oh, Northern Lights, huh? Well, that's not good, god dang it. Bro. Broski. Second Coalition. Northern Lights, yeah, it's all of them. Well, what do they want? Basically, we just got Church of the Silo. You know what? So be it for now. Blow it up. I will be petty. I will be completely petty. Because there's no way we can actually fight them. We they just have too much industrial strength and whatnot. Or at least manpower wise. Industry wise, we'll be okay. I'm not very worried about it. Thank you, Lost Hills. Uh, Eagle Rock in a trade node, nice. Pretty good. Oh, bro, the stuff has fallen. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Um, maybe we should make some crowd control gear or something. Good. Wait, were they worth some help? Yeah, they must have been. What the heck? What is up with me not being able to take all this territory? Man, come on. You know you did nothing, dead horses. Should research that next. Go to five, five now. Busted enclave machinery, nice. 
Uh, who turned off the lights? Avic from mini nukes. Oh, certain compliance would be good to get two. So we just lost search of the silo too, though, which sucks. All right, what a good man does. When we arrived in Montana, I was tired. I thought everything around me was crumbling, and that the folks back in the Midwest wanted me gone. We started a long walk this way, and when my thoughts were not on the airships and survival, I resented my colleagues. Along the way, however, honor before she passed, fired with me something I'll never forget. Make sure your life does not become your sickness. Think a lot about those words, even when where we are now. It doesn't matter why I'm here or any of us, really. It only matters what we do with what we've been given. They told me to secure the bunker. We've exceeded our mission, contained, fallen, and liberated a great deal of the Montana countryside from the terror of both Raider and Enclave alike. But there exist other threats, and so we may not rest. Mental all should have been drowned in the light of the steel. I would have took it. Good. We gotta go back for them, though. So much money do we make now? 163. It's not bad, it's not great. Rock. Oh, wow. That's not good. Well, we go this way for now. There'll be housing. Boop. Yeah, come. Actually, what's up next? Charged ammo. Come down here. I'm not gonna fall that much, but we'll see what we can do. Fast growth speed, sure. Who turned the lights on? Or who turned out the lights? <coughs> oh, I've seen gas lamps, I've seen fire barrels, I've seen bonfires. Where can a good man find a good light in Montana that isn't buzzing with like a pregnant honeybee? If I can't find one, we're gonna make them. I don't know how, but we're going to. Those cradle. You know, I do want Roman Diana too, but we still have. Uh, no, we don't. Okay. You know, maybe Roman Diana would be better first. Yeah, let's do that one first. It'd be very dry and spread out, which is unfortunate. But oh well. And you're gonna help set in the center. Because that'll give us a couple more trade notes, too. At least one more. So that's nice. Now we turn out the lights. Just for one time. So, ah, oh, that's fine. We don't want. Hey, sophisticated electronics. Great. And northern lights. Just because we can. There are rumors of, sent of a sentient mall in Canada. Crazy, perhaps, but something we should explore. Fractional distillation. Nice. Put them in their place. Get all of that stuff done for now. Okay, so communications key. Establishing a key base here, we want to be able to reach across the continent. It's a big sense of endeavor, but the sooner it's undertaken, the better. Good. Oh, yeah. Because after that, we're going to go to close cradle. We're just going to keep expanding. As much as we need political power. Oh. Okay, bro. We can't. We can't do that. Hmm. We don't have the industry for that. We'd have to give it all up. Are any of these cores? No, they're not. And we'll give it up for now. Which is ridiculous. Hey, at least we kept the grace stable. Northern Light Republic's gonna die. They have to die in this campaign. Psychiatry. Every little bit of manpower helps. This grace table's back. Kind of working. And they just keep killing each other over there, which is fine, whatever. And Sarah's looking pretty big. The Legion's gone, of course. Texas is looking pretty good, too. It's weird that they have this part of New Mexico, though. Republic of the Rio Grande. Uh, Free States of America, which made it. Yeah. Beauty Paradise, if you're into this, please go ahead. Still, it's pretty. Cool. 
territory, yeah. Bacon powder. <coughs> Our armor scavengers, good, good, good. We'll do this one for now. It's nice. It's not bad either. Oh, we, uh, yeah. Some crowd control gear. Put up, put down resistance, one up. Good. Very good. Just spread it like a cancer. Communications key, though. Uh, Paladin Jasmine's requisition. Paladin Jasmine, one of her most well known and liked boots on the ground, is a simple request. The ability to communicate with some. Uh, Someone of personal interest to her, utilizing her new radio systems. Getting scheduled radio channels may be beneficial to getting more people on board with helping upgrade the radio signal. However, if we wish to properly operate within the region, establishing a method of consistent communication between our headquarters and squads on the field is an absolute necessity, I admit. It's less of a request and more of a genuine plea for assistance. The Paladin Jasmine. This way too. Dog City, nice. I'm literally just gonna wait for the crowd control gear for that stuff. Okay, so why why can't we take everything? Like they're not at war with these other people, basically. And yeah, stupid war sport percentage stuff. <sighs> so dumb. Not the one else screwed up too. Taking everything, you ding dongs. There we go. Nope. Nope. How many days left? Actually, a few days, that's not bad. Good. 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 And our production excellent. Protocol apply suave swagger. One of our less productive scribes, a man by the name of Raphael Raphael. A supposedly a handsome fellow with a voice that melts the hearts of some of our juniors. Throwing him on the radio to advertise us as looking for new blow will help get the flow of new gangs or new folks going. As is, we're sorely low manpower in the region. You're not wrong. <clears throat> After that one, Watts, yeah. yeah. Just slap him on. I'll probably be out of rider gear, but whatever. Yeah, holy crap. That's really bad. Hey, New Sterling, welcome aboard. Buckets. Some of the scribes would have wanted some time to study the fires we had scrapped. If we're interested in proper IR field operations, be wise to let them do so. Nice, good stuff. Nope. 
You demand him. Why not? Oh, and no, we don't. I know we can't. Oh, it's plus it's increasing political power. We're going to need it. Wrap it up the rest buckets. And including uh, interference. It turns out we've been jammed this entire time by some mysterious signal out in the mountains. Sending a team to check this out and eradicate the signal will increase our radio signal considerably. Then, setting up hangars. With the new runway swept clear and the hangars emptied of undesirables, we can now set up a proper operation center here within Aldron. Use the current stockpile that we have and make it more efficient. That's one more breakthrough, more speed. How many are we out now? Hey, that's even better, way better. First class, good. Good. Yeah, they attack us, huh? I'm okay with that. <clears throat> they usually like attack and sell. We're gonna be here for a while because we got a lot to core. Oh my gosh! Setting up hangers. <clears throat> it's the little things. The strange thing happened today. Thrift had a sneaking suspicion about us ticking sound. He kept insisting he could hear out in the woods. And when I finally let him go investigate, he opened a colossal five by five pit of plasma mines. Well, we have a whole team set on disarming them, which is always well a hardly good a good thing. What was that we could take one part and use them to help Stargazer? Did we get another research done? Nice, good. Flight tests. For the first time in opportunity to years, the plane took off from motor and air base, Air Force Base. Even in our occupation, eyes were lit up along the streets of Fort Verity as night Isaiah to flight. Well, and he was proud of for thoughts after the landing, he had this to say, just Jesus crap, man, did you see that? The effing sky. Gosh darn, look at that my hand right now. Literally shaking. Who are those brothers who flew? The left bros or something? I wonder if they ever imagined something this bad ass. Like a effing dove. Uh oh, this is on hull tape? Crap. Petroka's is going to have my head rolling for this one for sure. It was properly remanded and as his test flight was not authorized. Uh oh. Huh. There you go. Even more efficiency. Okay, it got even worse. Not good. How are you attacking? Ah, oh, Lost Hills. Lost Hills does what Lost Hills wants, I guess. You know. Oh wow, we're really lacking. It's been doing a lot of damage to us. Chemical bleaching, good. Um, that's just any bonuses we have to do. I guess we did core Yellowstone earlier, which is good. Alright, there we go. More space. Oh, we're not connected here yet. And then Rapid City would be nice. Finally get some cores done, which is nice. Test flight's good. Booting up Sims. Actually having test flight tests may prove to be too dangerous with the current rust buckets in our employ. But some of the scribes in the bunker have begun to repair old simulation tech that may make gentle use of. Absolutely. Factory apple toys, nice. Oh, hello. What did you lose here for? Well, we're going in. You can hold in. Better efficiency, good. Sold. I think the infantry will be fine. It should be. It better be. Looking at you, infantry. Night patrols, they're only 18 combat with, so I'll throw another one on. Because we can totally afford that right now. Mm -hmm. Paladins, 20. Sims are nice. Oh, they're forcing tech to be nice. Uh, flight training. 
Proper thought and care should be put in any air-related endeavors. Setting the scribes to understand this sooner rather than later will help ensure and secure any dominion over the skies we hope for. Oh, you done? No, you're not. <clears throat> Secret sauce. We lost a thousand? How do we lose a thousand? We haven't lost any divisions. Whoa! 1,500? Yeah, must be hitting our infantry pretty darn hard then. Help them out. Oh, it's also they have uh, veterans or soldiers from NCR too. Darn it. Oh, whatever. Sniper awareness, recon. Eh, be aware. Screw it, why not? Sure, sure. Power is going to come on through soon enough. And we'll have them all done, which would be great. Flight training. And turn that knowledge into training. Some of the scribes that have engaged with the flight simulators have picked up on some great tips and tricks for anyone wanting to try and hop on in any form of aircraft. Let's ensure that people who know who to go for this before we end up with too much more malpractice and irresponsibility. There you go. I don't know. Maybe we won't go to war with the people in the north. It's just a gigantic, like, it's like a huge amount of people we'd have to fight. Like, we don't have nearly the divisions and whatnot, but they do. 58, 34, uh, we don't even have that many, just finding those two to combine, so. It really sucks. And like, after this, which sucks we get locked out of this one. But we can't even do this one. How does it go? And they all lived happily ever after? After everything we've done in the north, here we are, back home again. It's going to be a gas. Time for the cherry blossoms, the great salads of the north. These children of the cellar are sitting on a cache of several hundred pounds of pre-war missiles. We can't let that happen. Uh, we want our authority to be solidified within the North. We must destroy them no matter the cost. It should be nice to have mini nukes, but we don't have to have them. And it looks like we pretty much... Oh, my God. Are you kidding me? Yeah, there's not much we can really do. We're pretty much out of focus, is, so... What, they, what do you want? What the hell do you want? Gray stable? That's so stupid. But I think I might just end it there, then. Because we've done really well. We've expanded a whole bunch. We just core a lot of stuff from here on out. And we might go to war with them if we were to really continue, but uh, I don't think so. But if you enjoy the campaign, as us playing as the Montana chapter, please consider leaving a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow in another campaign. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.